Hey guys, you're listening to Baja, I thought I'd put me with Boo out there. I haven't done uh, Eden on my channel for a while now because I was away uh, getting married, so wait, wait for that. Um, now that I'm back though, I thought I would uh, sit on the PlayStation, I don't want to go back to the Division I wanted to try some other stuff, just relax and chill out and be married and stuff, you know, as you do. Uh, and that brought me to The Killing of War 2. Uh, this is a free game on the PSN. I thought I'd just grab it and see what it was like. Um, so I'm going to do a review for it. Um, so if you want to hear me uh, talk about the game itself, then please, by all means, uh, keep watching and we'll, we'll see what you like, okay? So the first thing we'll talk about is the gameplay itself. Basically what this is, is a zombie based killing game. If you played your your Call of Duty Zombies, you will not be, well, won't be surprised by it in, in the game. Uh, each game has sort of like uh, waves essentially. Once you clear those waves, uh, you go and get points and then you upgrade your stuff. Killing each zombie has a different amount of points it'll give you. So bigger ones obviously give you uh, bigger points and uh, more points means more prizes. Uh, one of the things on the game itself uh, that you can do that I did like was customization. You do have a different selection of characters where you can kind of upgrade the characters and also you can upgrade your perks. Uh, no, actually, you can't upgrade characters because your perks, what am I talking about? Ugh. Anyway, so you upgrade your, your perks and this gives you better bonuses for each set. Each sort of set gives you sort of different guns, give different kind of details you can use when you're in the game uh, and also makes those stuff kind of stronger. So once you finish the round, what you do is you then go to the wee machine that points you to and you essentially upgrade or you replenish your supply of ammo. Uh, this is kind of cool, but sometimes can be a little tedious because you have to like move across the map and it's really like like sometimes you can be somewhere and it will tell you to go to the other side of the map but you know the maps themselves are quite kind of squarish, they're quite small so they're really not that hard to, to go from one bit to another. Uh, guns are quite good, there's quite a selection there. Uh, you can choose from like having a single pistol to having double pistols uh, and they both kind of handle quite relatively the same so there's not much a change there but basically you're just kind of getting bigger and better guns and then using them on the zombies and getting even more points and then obviously buying the better ones or better versions uh, all within a weight restraint as well so there's always like weight okay one of the good things and bad things I can also say about that is the fact that after a certain amount of rounds, if you're say you're playing like the the four rounds on the fourth round, the boss will spawn. Uh, you can see here in the background I'm I'm currently fighting the boss. Uh, this is good and bad. It brings a sort of like new sort of dynamic to the just a sort of normal horde mode essentially. It brings in a sort of bigger boss that that kind of both of them um, that I've only seen two so far. Um, they have like kind of different sort of like attack patterns and different ways to kill them, and they have a kind of different sort of like mechanic to them. And this kind of makes the the game feel not stale uh, and a bit more rewarding near the end. Uh, I do actually like this boss we're fighting on screen. He is one of my favourite ones. Uh, I don't really see him that often though. Um, I do see the other one that we see at the start of the clip a lot more often and he's um, he's not as fun. He feels more sort of tanky and and more sort of like uh, a little bit harder to defeat. Whereas this guy feels just right and he's actually quite quite amusing in some of his, his sort of comebacks and stuff like that. It's pretty cool as well. So once you have finished the game, uh, whether you're playing offline or online, you will get sort of points for your kills, uh, and those points kind of go towards your perks, and that's how you up, sort of upgrade them. So say if you're playing as a, a demolition, the more demolition 
kills you get, the more sort of like points and more upgrades you get towards that. Um, so the weapons themselves don't get upgraded, the sort of like perks get upgraded. Okay. Now one of, the, one of the things I wanted to talk about was what's on the screen right now. Um, this is sort of bad part to this review. Um, I, this is actually kind of like the game itself is really, really good. Uh, I have really enjoyed the game. Um, but since it's been launched on PSN, Tripwire, I think that's who runs it, they have been having a lot of problems with their servers. I haven't really followed it um, on Twitter and stuff like that, but you can obviously follow it on like Reddit and stuff like that, and they always kind of post stuff saying, oh, they've said this and said that. Um, and so far since I've been playing the game, I've played it, what, two days now, and I have not yet played a game online. So I've searched, as you can see in the background here, this clip is about, I'd probably say about 50 minutes long, right? Uh, about shortened it down to a couple minutes here. And as you can see, um, I'm searching for games for survival, uh, and nothing's happening. So overall, my game, it's, it's, it's a nice game, it's just not quite ready yet. Uh, and sadly, I will be shelving it. Um, and I would advise a lot of players, if they want to play it for a while and get some class, like rank your class up and that and stuff like that until they fix it, I would do so. Uh, but anyway, yeah, um, if you like the, the review, um, please like and share. Whatever, subscribe, don't care. Um, but yeah, just be wary of it and in the more words of this game, Thanks for watching, guys. Ha, 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 ha.